Good morning, it's Brian here at Fitzpatrick's Garage of Dublin Road, Cavero. I want to show you this Honda CRV. This particular CRV is a 1.6, it is a diesel model, and it's what's called an SE Plus. Brian is my name. If there's any information you want on this car, please do call, text, WhatsApp, whichever suits 086 843 1945. We are Fitzpatrick's Garage, Dublin Road, Kildare. So we've got brands here like Honda, Hyundai, Mercedes, and we do after sales for Lexus and Toyota. So if you want information about your trade in or about finance or just any information on this really nice car, do not hesitate to give me a shout. In this video, we're going to have a look around the outside of this car and then we're going to have a look at the features on the inside and we'll have a quick drive as well. Starting off from the outside, then, as you can see, this is a really nice gleaming black metallic. I think these cars work really well in black because there's nice bits of chrome and nice bits of brushed aluminium around the car. So let's take a look. Along the front of the car, I quite like the way this brushed aluminium section is along through here and you have the bits of chrome along through the grille, but they then are mimicked by the daytime running light, which is also the parking light along through there. And then there's nice chrome around the front fog lights. I just think that makes the front end of the car look much more aggressive and upmarket. And while we're at the front of the car then, this is the 1.6 diesel turbo Honda Art Dreams engine. These are a brilliant engine. The reason being there's actually good torque in them. So it's 120 horsepower. It's actually got 300 newton meters of torque. Put that into perspective, the older 2.2, which was a nice engine but much more inefficient, was 340 newton meters of torque. That's only 40 newton meters between them. But this is much more efficient. Since this engine came out in this car in 2013, we have seen people regularly returning consistent levels of about 55 to 60 miles per gallon. That's just under five liters per hundred kilometers. And while you might think, okay, yes, there is cars that can do 55, 60 miles per gallon easily, most of them are a lot smaller. This is a big car. A lot of the SUVs don't get in around this kind of fuel efficiency, but this one does. Other things we're talking about the front of the car, the headlights are automatic. So basically from the key, I can turn on the headlamps and they will come on automatically themselves in the nighttime. But also the key has another function. It allows you basically to open the windows or similarly lock the windows and retract the wing mirrors remotely using the key. So moving down the side of the car then, the first thing I see are those really nice diamond cut wheels and they actually match the chrome and brushed aluminium that's on the front of the car. The reason I say they are a polished diamond cut finish is because if you see along here they have this nice shiny reflective section and then these black sections are brilliant for hiding brake dust. To match those wheels there's also a nice chrome surround around the windows all the way around. The rear windows are a privacy which gives a nice upmarket look. And to match the other sections of brushed aluminium, there's brushed aluminium roof rails up on top, which look quite nice, but they also take roof bars. Moving around onto the back of the car then, as you see, there is more chrome along the tailgate, and a nice brushed aluminium section along the bottom of the bumper. And because it's the SE Plus model, we have reversing sensors on the rear of the car, as well as down along the front of the car, and there's also a parking camera we'll see inside when we're looking at the interior. Let's start having a look at some of the features on the inside then. The boot is one of the reasons that people really love these CRVs because it's massive. Out of all the SUVs we sell, CRV is definitely has one of the biggest load areas. And it's also got some cool flexibility because when you pull these levers on either side, the back seats drop down and you end up with a really gigantic load area that's probably similar to a medium sized commercial vehicle. A spare wheel is also standard on the CRV. It only sounds like a small thing, but you actually wouldn't believe the amount of cars that don't have a spare wheel anymore. Before we have a look around the cabin, let's go for a drive in the car. First thing that pops up then, as we were talking about earlier, it had the sensors and it also had the reverse camera in through here. And as we'll see in a little while then, this is Honda Connect uh, with things like phone and lots of other stuff, music and all that kind of stuff. So one of the first things in these cars, as I was saying earlier, I love the engine. First gear into second, and it's lovely where the gear stick is. Acceleration is really, really good, and you wouldn't think it because it's a big car. When this car came out first, it used to be, sorry, when it came out first, it used to be, uh, initially they were 2.2, and then they became 1.6, and people were reserved saying, you know, is that gonna be powerful enough for this size of car? But this car can tow 1.7 tons, and it gets up through the gears pretty damn quick. I'll give you an example, we're in first gear, so I'm just gonna floor the car into second, and we're just gonna go for 100 kilometers an hour into third, The engine is just responsive in these. There's a surprising amount of torque out of all the SUVs we sell that are in around 110, 120 horsepower. This is my favorite. Second gear, the third. Cab is lovely, nice visibility around. Don't take my word for it, come try the car yourself. This example drives really nice. Engine, gearbox, brakes, steering, everything feels really good. Let's continue looking around the inside. So the back doors are really wide in the way they open so it kind of opens at a right angle really handy if you're trying to get around a child seat child lock back here electric for windows in through here 
condition on the door cards and materials in the rear of the car, all in very nice condition. Three header strengths are standards and three point safety belts are standard all the way across. And then the bottom of the seat, you've got Isofix on both sides. And what's kind of weird on these actually is you can have the Isofix point, which is wide over here, wide over there, and put something in the middle. Or if you want to go for two child seats across the back, you can bring them into the center a little bit. So there's only space for two then. But overall, in terms of three people across the back, nice and wide, three child seats is doable, but I'd recommend two child seats and a booster. Uh, three is doable, but a squeeze, but there'd only be two Isofix points. For adult passengers then, you've got kangaroo pockets and you've also got ventilation coming in onto the rear as well and the condition, as we were saying, all the way through is very, very nice. Moving up into the front of the car, then these are things I like to see. So if someone actually bothers to put that on to protect the edge of the door, they do slip off if it's something that you're not interested in leaving on the door. Usual electrics for windows and mirrors in through there. There's storage down through here, more storage in through here, a little bit of storage in through there. The driver's seat then is in excellent condition as is the rest of the interior of the car. You have lumbar supports to harden up the back part of the seat, height adjuster in through here, and then the rear part of the seat can be adjusted in through there. The steering wheel is rake reach, so it just means I can go upwards or downwards, or I can go inwards or outwards. Sitting in the car then, this is the view that you're going to see. So in through here, you got your mileage, you got your speedo, revolution counter, up and down to tell you when to change gear, fuel and temperature. This button here on the steering wheel then, allows you to manipulate information in here like average speed, fuel efficiency and that kind of information. Over on the steering wheel then, there is cruise control with a speed limiter. Behind it is automatic wipers. And on the left hand side then, we talked about the headlights which are automatic. Over here there's controls for radio and you've got an eye mid up through here, which will change information in that display like things like time, average fuel efficiency, how much fuel is left in the car. That brings you down then onto the Honda Connect. So as we talked about a while ago, you've got a reverse camera with different settings in through here and this touch and swipe screen for things like phone, audio, which is going to allow you to stream music or play music using two USB connectors, or you can also put music or video through the HDMI connection. There's also then a 12 volt outlet in through here. Second 12 volt outlet. Actually, now that I think about it, there's even a third one in the boot. The heating controls then are on a dual zone setup. So you've got front and rear windscreen demisters with wing mirror demisters in through here as well and controls are all digital. One other thing on the Honda Connect I forgot to tell you about was there's lots and lots of other functionality you'd see in a tablet. Things like an internet browser, calendar, calculator and clock. One other interesting point to note on CRVs then is you have two mirrors. So one of them is for looking behind you to see who's driving behind you, which is electrochromatic. So people, when they drive up behind you, it darkens itself. And this one here then allows you to keep an eye on the cabin. And it also doubles up as a sunglasses holder. So there you have it. That is our 2016 Honda CRV 1.6 diesel, and this is an SE Plus model. Brian's my name. If there's any information you want in the car, 086 843 1945. Information about the car, or trading in, or finance, or anything like that before you travel, do not hesitate to give me a shout. Hopefully, the cars of interest. Hopefully, the video is useful. Thanks for taking time to watch.